Well, good morning to all you beautiful people. It is Wednesday. You know what that means. Welcome along to the ra- episode number 64 of our NASCAR He Fired Karimo with Jack Wayne Harriet, Chase Levine. And it's round number two of the Cup Series. We're off to Vegas, baby. i got a feeling this is going to be not a good race, if I'm being honest. But we see when we get out on the uh, on the track what happens. Team's all mad at me. And there's a good reason. She won... Uh, <laughs> she won at uh, Daytona. There's really not a lot of points showing you the uh, championship now. It's only one race. It'll be the standings from after um, Daytona. So there's plenty of time left in the championship for everything to change. Plenty of, plenty of time. But it's nice to see number 69 on top, uh, isn't it? Anyway, 120 victories. Yes, she won the uh, truck and uh, Xfinity race at Vegas. She's going for the uh, She's going for the sweep. So uh, get the brooms out uh, ready, folks, uh, for the good old sweep. Anyway, we are going to get practiced and qualified around here. And let's see if she can make it two for two. Or is it going to be a bridge too far? Back again for more, Governor. It's British Ian. And we're here for the stories of the race. Before we get into this race here at Las Vegas, mate. Shut up, British Ian. Speak about the stories. Carl Bush, to the back. Ryan Newman, to the back. With the David Dickinson car. And Joey Logano, to the back. And now British Ian will shut up for Rockstar Pool 69. Oh, right then, folks. Starting down in P9. Yeah, P9. How's that for a qualifying? Let's get uh, underway. It looks like uh, Kevin Harvick wants to start a fight already. Yeah, you can get uh, up the track there, Kevin, if that's going to be your uh, attitude. We ain't starting no fights uh, over here, ladies and gentlemen. Everything here will be undertaken in... Uh, oh, he still wants to, he wants to nibble at that quarter panel. Come here. Come here, punk. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, didn't think you were. Get back there. Right then. Up to P8. Into P8. Although it will soon be P7, P6, maybe P5 if she gets the runoff. Uh, is that Bowman in front? That's Kenza. That is Kenza. That is Kenza. And that is P4, if she's got the... Uh, is she clear? Oh, not quite clear of Jimmy Johnson yet. Not quite clear of Jimmy Johnson. Although she'd... Uh, she'd like to be. She is clear now. She's got the inside of Truex. She, she had a pretty rapid car in uh, practice, I'm not going to lie. She wasn't uh, totally fastest, but definitely one of. Oh, excuse me. Who's that in the lead there? Is that Denny Hamlin? No, it's Brad Kislowski uh, out in the lead. Bad Brad! Bad Brad! Oh, that's going to be a good move. She gets uh, that done up the inside of Truex. That's going to be P3. Is she going to get past Kenseth? Oh, she might want to try the Nellis straight away. Oh, I'll get behind him. Get behind him. Pull, uh, pull a bit of draft off. Pull a bit of draft. Pull a bit of draft. Pull a bit of draft. And that is going to be P2. Yes, clear. Into P2, we can get after Brad now. We can get after Brad. We can, we, if we can get after, I tell you what, if she sneaks up right behind him, give him the old uh, intimidate button. Give him, give him the old intimidate button. There you go, round the outside. That's going to be, that was a great move. That. That is textbook for Las Vegas, I would say. That 
That is uh, very much textbook. That that that's textbook. Uh, that is. Come on, Ian. Don't don't uh, don't look at all that shit. Don't look at uh, that shit. Come on. They 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 did everything in their power to uh, to try and bring you down. They they they're not going to win. Come on. They they can try all they like. I mean, they, it's not going to work. It is legally not going to work. Oh, Jesus Christ! She got so loose off turn two there, four then. So, so loose. I don't think she hit the wall. I think she got close to the wall. But I don't think she hit it. That's what I, I want to say. That, that's uh, that's all I want to say. There you go. Just, just keep it uh, like that. There you go. Come on. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Now, now my head's just uh, just gone with. Uh, with it, it's like I want to be able to tell you guys, but I just can't. I, I just can't. I, I, I've, I've, I literally, I, I just... You know when you feel the weight of the world on your shoulder? You know when you feel the weight of the world is about to suffocate you, is about to just consume everything about you? Then it, it, it gets to the point where it feels like you're, you're in a never-ending spiral of negativity. Do you know what I'm saying there? I hope, uh, I hope you do. I, I really, really hope you do. Because... That, that 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 is how I how I feel recording this um, right now. That that's uh, that, that, that that's that, that's being honest. And and I I know I've spoken on my, my own personal mental health in the past, but. It's getting towards those really low, really dangerous low levels. Because that it feels like no matter what I do, it feels like no matter what I'm trying, I'm always constantly listening out I'm always constantly y you know it, it, it always feels like I'm trying to make worse out of a situation that isn't going to be bad and I keep I keep telling myself that I mean, there, there were times. All clear. All clear. All clear. There were times that 
and, and I did. I've, I've been very... Certainly if you saw a few months back my post on Twitter, I, I went, got very deep and very personal. I, I went into the fact that, you know, I had surgery on my ankle to make me somebody's, uh, we've got pit stops going on. Ooh, this could be uh, interesting if we've got uh, pit stops going on. Yeah, we've got loads of pit stops going on here. This, this could be an opportunity to get a lot of people uh, laps down here. Two to go in the stage. we we got enough uh, fuel to make it. I sincerely hope that uh, we do have enough uh, fuel to make it. Because that, that would be brilliant if, uh, if it did. But no, I was... Uh, yeah, some other cars are coming in now. We've lapped everyone up to P11, Daniel Suarez. Ooh, she didn't want... Please don't rig out the court. Oh, look at the livery on Priest's car there. Oh, I thought Priest uh, and Suarez were coming in, then they took that line. I love that livery on uh, Priest's car. It's a beautiful livery. Let's see if we can go around the outside of Suarez and Priest. Yeah, free wide, that was easy. If we can get a load of cars in a lap down, that's going to help matters there. There goes Kenza. He's P22. He's going to be two down, I think. I think. I'll um, I'll continue this um, what I was saying after uh, after we get to stage two start with that stage one winner JHCL that is stage one winner JHCL she's picking up exactly where the Xfinity series left off folks just please remember that she is the undefeated Xfinity series champion undefeated. Not one person was able to beat her in a race. They may have beat her in stages, but they didn't beat her in a race. And that's that's the key thing here. Look, look at those, the state of them tyres. Oh, she lapped everyone up to P9. Interesting. So Ryan Priest is going to get his lap back. This, this is essentially a, a free stop because the lowest she can go is P9. That is the lowest she can go. And if she can carry on that uh, form, uh, it's going to be very devastating. But uh, we are back in the air under uh, stage two. Let's uh, continue uh, racing and um, yeah, let's let's go at Denny Hamlin's arrival. This is going to end one way, Denny. It's going to end one way. It's going to end one way. That's the way it's going to end. That's the way it's going to end. Get your ass back there. Brad Kislowski is going to get his lap back now. There we go. Free pass. Brad Kislowski. He's lucky doll. As uh, we get ready to go uh, stage number two. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll get uh, I'll get this um, out now. I did put it up um, you know, a few um, a couple of months back. I, I was I was very vocal about um, certainly the last five years. My mental health has just it's, it's almost been non-existent in uh, at times. Uh, four four and a half years ago, I had my ankle operation, and, and, and let, let's be honest, it, it started with a group. Of on Facebook who go around proclaiming that everything they do is right by going out and branding people paedophiles is right, by branding people terrorists is right, by racially abusing people is right, by decreeing homophobia, homophobic comments is right that they think that they're allowed to basically do whatever they do, not just in on social media, but in public as well. And quite frankly, they, they targeted me 
they they branded me homophobic, they branded me a paedophile, they branded me racist. I lost friends because of what happened, I lost. I, I, I lost, I lost almost um, everything, apart from, you know, one, one person who Go was, uh, we're on the caution again, I'll uh, get serious in a second, I'll get serious in a second, folks. I'll uh, get serious in a second. Simon's uh green flag, green flag. Simon's now uh um, now speaking. whole situation is is uh, this whole situation is just dragging me dragging me down I mean if, if I start crying here I'm sorry but uh, You know, you know, five um, five years ago now was when it really, really got to its lowest. And when I had my operation on my ankle four and a half years ago, one of the uh, group actually took to my one of my YouTube channels, and thankfully, thankfully, um, YouTube removed the comments. I believe they took some action against that person, not, um, uh, <sighs> but that they're still on social media, but, um, they did take action against that person at the time, but, uh, one of them actually has literally as I was going into the operation wished me dead on the operating table and the, the really really sad part because I went in, uh, for my operation on my birthday and the really sad part was that um, I, I did actually die on that operating table Um, I, I, um, sorry, I'm getting really emotional now. I, I went in for my operation at uh, around about half past twelve, and at, I mean, if this isn't um, anything freaky, I don't know what is, but at. Uh, 13, 14 minutes past 13 for on the 14th of March 1983 sorry, no, um, 2018 I was declared dead and I had died I was declared dead for 3 minutes and 14 Going seconds Almost ready. I, I knew the risk with this operation I knew this could happen but something brought me back that day. Something or someone brought me brought me back that day. And and I'm still here to this day. And there are there are honestly times, right? When I'm on my own, I'm I'm just 
sitting to myself. And I keep telling myself I, I shouldn't be here. I, I should be... You know, I should be in a better place. But I'm not and I'm still here. Why am I still here? And, and I keep... And I keep asking myself that and asking myself that. And I never... Never ever know why... Why the, that is. And then not what? Probably, what was it? 18, 18 months later, three individual I call them individuals, I don't call them people because quite frankly people don't do the actions that what they did. They they dragged me into an argument with someone who I have known for ten years. And I say this not as a defense to all the lovely people I've met on YouTube, all the lovely people I've met on Facebook, all the lovely people I've met on Twitter, but this guy has stuck by me through absolutely everything for 10 years and I am absolutely honoured to call him my best friend. And I will do the same, I will stick by him through no matter what and he had some of the most disgusting things said about him and I turned around and I said to them I, I, I said to him, I said, whatever your beef is with my friend, it is your beef with my friend. I will support my friend in any way I can, but for God's sake, do not drag me into this. And they kept dragging me in and dragging me in and dragging me in to the point where it got that bad. I, I was, I think um, one of my brothers was... Um, I think Simon, who uh, shared the room with, uh, he he was um, on holiday. It actually got to the point where I took a knife and I put it against my throat. I was ready to pull. But something again stopped me that day. And I, for the love of God, I wish I could tell you what it was that stopped me that day. I I wish to God I could tell you what exactly stopped me from pulling that knife across my throat, but I can't. I I just can't. And literally through every vile insult that I've had, through every person that has turned their back on on me through and, and and there have been times I've people have seen that I've been calling out for help and all they've done is is turn their back all they've done is turn their back and walked away that's not a friend that that just isn't um, isn't a friend but I can I can honestly say through through doing this content for you guys and I say this with a lot of emotion in my voice. I think you can, you can probably tell that I'm, I'm in tears now. I think you, a lot of you can tell. Um, I say this with a lot of emotion in my in my voice, tears in my eyes, and quite frankly a headache going on at the time. I have met some absolutely fantastic people through gaming. Fantastic people. And I, I'm honoured. It, it's almost like I'm honoured to call you a friend. Because some of you leave 
such the some of you leave such the nicest comments. You leave such the nicest things that you could say. And and this is where you know certainly uh, I've got to say a big uh, a big shout out certainly to 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 Chris to Jason to Huss to Trent. Um, you know, for make, making me being the, the supportive people they are, and you know, making making me a better person on YouTube. I, I've really got to um, to thank you guys for that. And then to to all the people in in the um, a home away from YouTube um, Discord server, the um, the Ironclad Discord server. Um, what's the other um, Discord server I'm part of? That um, I know people um, help me out. I forget it. So is it Doctor Holes or something uh, like that? Yeah, Dr. Holes' is Central Station. To to the guys in YouTuber Gaming Network, to the guys on YouTuber Gamers and Geeks, to to everyone who I've met through through YouTube, and an absolutely wholehearted thank you goes out to you guys for you know all all the nice words all the uh, all the uh, support that you guys um, you guys give me words words sometimes just never ever put, put over how much uh, i thank you all and and uh, i hope one day you all you know I know, I know I said with um, Chris, Jason, Huss and uh, Trent, if we all ever get together, uh, first round's on me. <laughs> and, and, and I mean that, first round, uh, if I ever meet any of you guys, first round's on me just to, just to say thank you. Because I can, I can honestly say through gaming, my, my mental health has, it is not back to where it was, but my god it's got a lot better. And, you know, just thank you guys. I think we've all forgot there's a race going on right now, isn't there? Uh, I, I only meant to go on about that a few seconds, uh, and it's turned into, what, 20, 25 minutes. But, but seriously guys, you know, any, anyone who, who has read about any stories involving me, any stories involving members of my family, categorically they are untrue and some of the most vile things that anyone could say against the person. And we have a caution. So, yeah. Thank. Listen, guys. I, I know I've uh, I've got a bit upset recording this. There's part of me that wants to re-record this, and there's part of me that wants to. Uh, We're going green. Do it again, but there's honestly a lot of me that wants to. Uh, just put it up the way, uh, the way that it is. Uh, I'll make, um, I'll make. You'll, you'll know which uh, version I put up. I honestly want to. Uh, do it again, but uh, you know, let's uh, let's get on with uh, the rest of this race, shall we? And Denny's just put uh, Jackie in the wall. I think he's uh, gonna end up paying for that one. I'll tell you that now for a fact. Wow, long we got to go. 
we've got uh, five laps to go. Come on, Jackie. Come on. I think it, in a way as well, if you think about it, Jackie... She sort of represents, I'll tell you what, I'm rolling again. Get the, oh, ow. Ow, oh, that's, 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 that's not good. We're going to apologise to Brad Kislowski there. We're, we're going to uh, apologise to Brad Kislowski uh, in the, uh, in the fullest there. Two to go. Can she get back to the lead? I really, really hope she can. She's lost Clint Boyer. That's good. Uh, She's about to go three wide with Lady and Chase Elliott. I tell you what, she can get a run down the back straight. She may have a chance at Chase Elliott, and then she can contra at Denny Hamlin, but she doesn't get past Chase Elliott. Oh, I tell you what, that's no. Oh, please, please, go on, Chase. Go on, please take Denny Hamlin. Go on, please, Chase. Come on, Chase. Last one to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Oh, I'll tell you what, she's getting close, but I don't think she's going to do it. Oh, that. Well, Denny Hamlin looks like he's going to win this race, and he won this race because he had to push her out of the way. He had to win this race because uh, he pushed her out of the way. I've got snot all over my... Uh, my, not muffler, I forget what this thing's uh, bloody called. I forget what this, but I don't care anymore. It's a, it's a circle thing in front of a microphone. That's, uh, that's what it is, and that's uh, what we're sticking to. But, um, you know, seriously, guys, thanks. Um, thanks for listening, you know. Thanks for putting up with a 40-year-old man pouring his heart out on YouTube and getting really upset. Friday's video will be a lot better, I promise you. <laughs> what race is it on Friday? Is it Auto Club? I think it's Auto Club. I honestly uh, do believe it's uh, it's Auto Club on uh, on Friday. Ugh takes the check flag she won stage one I think we could could have done with uh, Denny Hamlin I'm gonna need a lot of excuse me I've got the hiccups now as well gonna need a lot of uh, tissue I think to um, to uh, you know get myself composed I'm gonna get a drink as well what do you guys think, Vimto? Get a can of Dr. Pepper. Get a can of, uh... Whatever. Oh, that's what happened to Brad. That's that. That was just... Oh! Oh my god, who was that?! Oh my god, who was that? Somebody went for a flip! Oh, I need to go back in the replay and see if I can find that flip. Oh my god, that was a flip and a half. Who was that? Yeah, she finished P3, but she should have won that race. Denny Hamlin, we're coming for you next time, pal. Uh, 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 I, I saw this in the replay, I had to bring it to you. Watch Alma Roller at the back, guys. He's, he's not the car that's in the wall now. Well, he is the car in the wall, but he got airborne! Oh, what a ride for Eric Alba High Roller! Proving that he really is a, a bit of a high roller. Yeah, we're going to apologise to uh, Brad for that one. But, uh, damn, what a ride, Alba Roller! Yeah, I, I think, uh... Yeah. Well, congratulations to Dickhead Hamlin. Winning by uh, any means necessary. Had to ho uh, ho Jackie out of the way there. Everyone else finished two or three laps down, apart from uh, Justin Haley and Michael McDowell, rip uh, to both of them. But it's nice to see that uh, you uh, you like hoeing her out of the way, don't you there, uh, Denny Hamlin? 
Oh, who, who gives what? Look at that smug face. Look at that smug. I want to punch his smug look off his face right now. <clears throat> He's way too smug for my liking. See, Joe, Joey's my man. Joey's the car on the move. Good man. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Oh, well. That's a bit harsh on Bowman the Showman. Third. Okay. I, I think, you know what, to be fair. <coughs> we'll have a coughing fit first. But uh, we'll, we'll take third. Should have been the win. But uh, we'll take third. Anyway, what's next? I think it is California? Is it California next? I think it's Auto Club. Let's just confirm. Yes, it's Auto Club. Woohoo! Auto Club Speedway. Uh oh, we've gained a rival in the Cup Series. Who? Who? Ah, fuck off, Hamlin, you smug bastard. Yeah, go get fucked. Whatever. Anyway, 30 on the video, guys. I'm sure you'll all agree that was a good effort from uh, Get Subscribed uh, for more. Say, back on Friday with uh, more NASCAR action. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. If you can't be kind, you have no place in the world. You can't be kind to other people. See you tomorrow for the second round of the F1 uh, 22 career mode. And we'll see you on Friday for the third round around Auto Club, ladies and gentlemen.